Welcome back, we've got a story 25 years in the making. In honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, 17's Aaliyah Fitzgerald has the story of a local woman who died from breast cancer. But before that, she left a recorded warning for her daughter, Aaliyah. That's right, her name was Leah Brown and she is a part of KGET history. She was a producer here in the 90s and worked with Robin Mangren Scott to create not only a story for the news, but a home video for her daughter Crimson to warn her about the BRCA1 and 2 genetic mutations. People don't go through this kind of thing for nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just so they can have some story to tell. I mean, I'll have a testimony for sure, but I'm going to change lives through this. Leah Brown had many roles. Gospel choir teacher. Oh, say can you see? Promotions producer. And while there are many hats that she wore, from her actions, the role that she loved the most was the role of being a mother. This was something that almost never happened. The doctors told me you have to terminate the pregnancy because the baby won't survive and maybe neither will you. And I said, more concerned about her living than my living. I'm like, man, I wish I could have been in the room to watch her put her foot down like that, but I was, <laughs> I was actually there. Brown decided on moving forward with the treatment after she had her daughter Crimson. Despite going through this rigorous treatment, she continued to go to work. This has been going on for months. You come in every day, you do your job, you have a smile on your face, you never look like anything is ever wrong. I never knew. And I think the majority of the people that we work with don't know that what you're going through. Mm -hmm. Upon doing a story on breast cancer, Robin at 17 News created something that Crimson would be able to hold on to throughout her lifetime. A tape of her own mother's advice. It, it was really insane to sit there and watch her on the screen moving and talking. Um, um, and Robin trying to make sure that she touched on questions that would be answered in a way that would be beneficial to me 20 years later or whenever down the road. And um, I just held on so tightly to like every single word that she said, every single, every single thing that she wanted to leave me with. Um, it was just so powerful. You know, people have their mothers all the time telling them little bits of advice here and there and sometimes it's in one ear and out the other but with those videos um, every single sentence was just priceless. Crimson is very likely to be diagnosed with breast cancer at an early age just like I was but what I want her to know is that my mom went through this my mom was going to screen everything that we can screen and protect her all the way and it won't be a surprise for her I'm not going to surprise her with this 10 years from now. She's going to know as soon as she can understand. She was right. Crimson had the BRCA1 and 2 genes. To avoid the possibility of developing breast cancer, she had a double mastectomy at 24 years old. Led by the example of her mother, in the next few weeks, she'll be turning the age that Leah Brown was when she was first diagnosed. One of the most important genes that Leah passed down, however, was her love for music. I was recording in Los Angeles. I was working on a, a demo mm -hmm. for a recording contract. And my future was bright. A singing contract? A singing contract. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, being here today is amazing. I feel like it's kind of a full circle sort of thing. My mother used to work here um, actually as... At KGT? Yeah, as oh, a wow. journalist. Oh, um, wow. These interviews were filmed within the last year of her life as she passed the next year in December of 1999. Leah Brown changed her daughter Crimson's life through experience and knowledge, with a lot of it being witnessed off of one single VHS tape. Without a doubt, her legacy lives on. 
Now, if you have a family history of breast cancer, there are incredible organizations in Kern County that can help you get a mammogram, even if you don't meet the standard age requirement. And you can watch Crimson Sky's Sound of Sunrise performance on our website at kget.com. Now, this was an incredible experience, not only for her, but for me as well. Uh, she hadn't been in the newsroom whenever she came here for the Sounds of Sunrise. So we led her throughout where her mother worked every single day. And you know, she left a legacy, but we actually found uh, Crimson through her music career. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened that her mom also worked here. Uh, you know, over 20 years ago, we do have like legendary uh, employees here that do remember her, but you know, the majority of her group has since left the company and you know, her legacy has definitely lived on. All right, Aaliyah, thank you. All right, appreciate that story. All right, 622 is